Hi everybody, Radical Gardener, how are you today? Well, let's see, today is, oh, here we go. I don't know the date again. Oh gosh, just forget it. I, I never know what day it is. Today is Tuesday. Easter was on Sunday. So is it the 23rd, I think? Yeah? All right, that's what it is. It was beautiful out this morning. I mean, it's warm. And now it's a little cooler. It's overcast. So, um, yeah. And, you know, the weather, it keeps on changing. Listen, I want to apologize. I was a little bit down in the mouth yesterday when I made my video. So, you know, sometimes this whole YouTube thing is just, you know, whatever. But... You know, there's people that have a lot more at stake than I do. And, you know, I'm going to do what I do, whether I have a YouTube channel or not. And, you know, it's it's just it's much more, it's a lot more fun to, you know, just share it with people. But I don't know why I let myself get upset about it. Okay. So, you know, and, and another thing I want to just say, I excuse the light in here. It's really bad. You know, I took those grow lights out and it, it it's doing a weird thing it makes my face look blotchy my face is not blotchy see it's not blotchy but just when i pull back it looks see, what like that isn't anything weird okay makeup makeup all right so listen i know you know about hang, hanging grow bags but these are really cool so let me see if i can get to the front page here of this and then I'm going to show it to you. Okay, let's go to home. All right, so home and garden shop products. It's called Luxy Home and there's some cool stuff here. It's one of those things that you don't know you need these things until you see it and you go, oh, I really need it. You know, it's one of those. Like a banana pet bed. Come on. Uh, but there is this really cool computer table. I'm not going to get into all this with you, but okay, I'm sorry I went through all this. Okay, so let me just search for the plant bags. But these are nice and they're affordable. Hanging growing bag. I'm going to order five of these uh, next week. Check it out. I'm going to turn this around. Okay, check this out. So these are growing bags and they look like something that you would hang and hang your shoes in, right? So I'm gonna go here and just go through these so you can see it. You see how they just have pockets like you would put your shoes in. There you go, there it is. That's it, you couldn't get them green. Little B, that's enough. You can get them green or black, but I think, I don't know, because my fence is green. Aren't these great? You just tack them up at the top, you guys. They're really cool. See? So the ones I saw were black and green. Now, I've seen these before, and they've been really expensive. And, you know, of course, they have, they must have a hole on the bottom so that they can drain. I would almost guarantee that. But look at this. So this looks like it has, oh, maybe it's double it. Let me see, just see if it's more expensive. No. Is that just one bag? Yeah, no, this has got to be two bags together. It's got to be. These are great. I mean, you you can put this in your house. Why couldn't you do this? Wow. 20 bucks. What is it going to tell us about that? Here, let me turn it around. Pretty darn cool. So I have this section of fence that, you know, because I have the painting on one fence, but I've got a section that will be bare um which you know uh due to my greenhouse being built so um i've got this one bare section let's see instantly turn your dull and boring walls into beautiful and decorative gardens with your favorite leaves you know i i wouldn't do this in my house because it would make me nervous the moisture and mold uh, 
that make me a little nervous. But outside, you bet. And, you know, if, if you think that you can do this on your walls at home, why not? If you have cement walls or brick walls, oh, see, they've got it on a brick wall. Okay, so um, it's a real practical design. Yep, balcony garden for those of you that are in apartments. You can put it outside. The sturdy felt material is breathable and helps retain moisture, which promotes optimal plant health and makes maintenance hassle-free. And changing plants is a breeze, meaning you can constantly swap out new plants to spice up the look of your beautiful garden. Wowie zowie, right? Convenient and practical way to grow garden in a small space. Installation is simple and easy. It, it, it is. It's like, you know, a screwdriver. Made of felt material, which is breathable, drought resistant, and environmentally friendly. Durable pockets that retain their shape and do not deform. Made of felt, non-woven fabric, green color. So it's green. I don't know why the ones I'm looking at are black. I'm telling you I'm looking at black ones. They're lying. Um, oh, so they have them for nine with nine pockets, 18 pockets, 36 pockets. So get one. Boy, you should see the reviews on this. Jeez, five stars all the way. Love this item. I just finished putting plants in mine last night. Everything is double stitches for sturdiness, and I love the way the finished product looks on my outside patio wall. Exactly as pictured, all 36 thick felt pockets were there, a lot bigger than I pictured. Great, the pockets are big enough to set pots down inside. What? I love this planter. It has deep enough pockets to allow plants room to grow. It retains water well and looks great. <gasps> Don't you think that I should have this? And you should too. I zip, I zip tied it to my fence. Oh, that is a great idea. Ideal for lettuce and strawberries to keep bunnies away. I did add some plastic forks to poke at any birds that may nip at my berries though. Oh my God, they stuck pla uh, plastic forks in there so the birds will get, you know, poked a little. You will definitely have to water on hot days both in a.m. and p.m. My husband's like a compulsive waterer. I have to stop him. He drowned our potatoes last year. <laughs> Great item. Haven't figured out what to plant yet, but have a lot to pick from. Wowie zowie, you guys. You know, all those herbs I got? Jeez. The seeds. I wonder why, why couldn't I just start the seeds in those, right? This is cool. So I'm going to get the one for 36 pockets. Yeah. Gosh. Cool. You know what I didn't order? My tomatillos. So I just ordered those from Baker Creek. Remember how much I love my damn tomatillo tree last year? Um, you know, people give me plants all the time. And last year, this woman had an overabundance of plants that she had started. So I had no idea what they were. And they turned out to be peppers, eggplants, and tomatillos. And um, uh, that tomatillo tree that grew was so amazing. And then I made, uh, I made sauce, tomatillo sauce. Oh my God, it was delicious. And it's a really mild... You taste, you know, I, I, what did I make? Like tomatillo verde or something. Oh my gosh, it was delicious. So, um, so I did order that so that I have that again. But listen, I'm, I, I love this. So let me see. Let's see. One pocket. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, so let's see if the price changes when I put in thirty six pockets. Thirty nine ninety nine. But you only need one. That's all I need, right? So I'll see what the measurements are, but this is a keeper. I'm ordering this. Okay, something else that I got, and why isn't it here? I want to show it to you. Here it is. All right. Well, because I'm going to be moving around a lot with my therapeutic sound, I needed, uh, I use a lot of the essential oils, and I also, you know, use them like downstairs. Um, when people come over, if I work on people, but I bought this case. It is so nice. I'll put a link below. So it's called Vivify. See? And it just zips all the way around. But this is slick to hold your oils. And it protects them all. Can you see that? Now, I have enough oils. I mean, I could have, fill this up with two cases. <laughs> I mean, it would take two cases for all the oils I have. So I haven't put them all in yet. 
but is this crazy? And it's like every size, you know, because there's different sizes and it holds them. Even my Breathe Again, it held that too. And my bigger bottles, here's my big Frankincense, it held that. So this is the, whatever it is, however many milligrams it is. Um, but yeah, and even my square bottles, it holds that beautifully. So I'll leave a link below, but isn't that great? It holds 100 for 120. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine times seven. So however many that is. Okay, 56. I don't know. Um, nine times seven. What's nine times seven? You really get to see how stupid I am on this channel. Oh, and then you have pockets. So you can put, you know, if you have bigger bottles or lotions or anything like that, they go right in there. Do you love this thing? I love it. All right, so I will put that below. In case you're interested, it's great, you know, this can be part of your prepping kit is to have a case to carry your essential oils. Because essential oils, they are, we know how wonderful they are, don't we? All right, well, I gotta get going because I have to teach here pretty soon. So, Radical Gardener, from my garden to yours, may your garden always grow. Hey, the curb, we're, uh, we're planning it for sure tomorrow, so that's gonna be done. We have to move our espalier aerial, so I'll show uh, how we're doing that because um, we have to move her out of the way from where the greenhouse is gonna be built. And uh, what did I do today? I did, oh, I cleaned up behind the, uh, behind the garage. And, uh, you know, because we're going to be putting a greenhouse there. But the spinach came back. That strawberry spinach that I'm in love with, that's growing again. I am so pleased. I mean, it looks like I seeded it. You should see all the, the plants growing. And, so, and my beets are uh, showing up some more. So, um, oh good, the sun's coming out. So good, that'll help my plants to grow. So yeah, you know, it's really coming alive. And uh, you, you know, I only have the plants out that uh, are friendly to a frost. If we get a frost, we may get one this week, but that's a maybe. Uh, you know, it's definitely gonna be spring weather. So pretty good. Okay, Radical Gardener, from my garden to yours, may your garden always grow. You know, I'm sending you a ton of love. And don't forget, thumbs up and share the video. Thanks everybody. Bye.